This is our chickpea curry. Wow, this is incredible. To a large skillet, pot or Dutch oven, warm up extra virgin olive oil and gently fry a finely chopped onion for about three minutes. Add finely grated garlic and grated ginger and fry them for another minute, stirring often. Now turn the heat down to low. We're gonna add my favorite spice mix. Made with curry powder, turmeric powder, cumin seeds or ground cumin, ground coriander, red pepper flakes, black pepper and salt. Toast the spices for a short minute, stirring often until you smell their fragrant aroma. Now add in drained and rinsed chickpeas and stir them in the spice mix for a minute. Add vegetable stock, canned crushed tomatoes and coconut milk. Then stir it and let it simmer for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes I'm going to blend some of the chickpeas to make the curry creamier. When you're happy with texture and consistency, finish your chickpea curry with some garam masala. Give it a final stir, serve it on a plate with basmati rice, a pinch of garam masala, finely chopped coriander or fresh parsley, a squeeze of lemon, a dollop of yogurt or plant-based yogurt mixed with coriander and paprika and 